Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing a case of a diverticulum of the colon. And here we actually have the full thickness of the colon wall. So let's take a look at the more normal area first. This is the mucosa. Just below this is a very thin layer of smooth muscle known as the muscularis mucosae. And then we have the submucosa which is composed of loose connective tissue. And then we have the muscularis propria, the thick muscle coating, and the subserosal tissue. Moving back on to low magnification, we can see that there is a flask-shaped outpouching of the mucosa of the large bowel into the wall, through the layers of the wall. And in fact, you can see that it kind of penetrates through the muscularis propria and the mucosa is intact throughout this particular diverticulum. Sometimes there can be fecal material impacted and this can give rise to obstruction and then inflammation and abscess formation and also potentially perforation because there is no thick muscle coating at the front end of the diverticulum. Hence, we only have some thin connective tissue, some subserosal tissue, and this is at risk of perforation. In the event of perforation, there may be adhesions to adjacent structures within the abdominal cavity or bowel loops, and there can even be fistula formation to adjacent loops of bowel. And this is a complication of diverticular disease and diverticulitis. Taking a closer look, we can see that um, at this deepest part of the diverticulum, we only have a little bit of smooth muscle. And this could be from the muscularis mucosae. And the thick muscle coat of the bowel is absent in this area. In this particular case, as we trace the mucosa lining the diverticulum, we see that there is no significant ulceration or acute inflammation. So this particular diverticulum is quite uninflamed, but it is not uncommon to have diverticulitis or diverticular abscesses. So in summary, this is an example of a colonic diverticulum. This is not a true diverticulum, for example, a mechal diverticulum or a congenital diverticulum, where you see the full layers of the bowel wall surrounding the diverticulum. But instead, this penetrates through the wall of the bowel and only takes along with it a little bit of the muscularis mucosae. Thank you.